Uh, we got some eggs. Sorry, I've, I've been doing these new karate moves. Your jiu-jitsu classes? Yeah, I'm like almost to a blue belt, which I think is... It's pretty much the top. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Bas I think, basically I think the best. I know that I'm the best, but I just have to prove it to everyone else. And that's that's what's tough. To the sensei. To the sensei, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karate Kid's my favorite movie, so I just, I don't know. But every time I get an egg, I'm like freaking out. Like, it's gonna be so fun to just crush this. Um, anyways, what are we making? Oh yeah, we're making a um, corn casserole mm. crock pot. So we got the Jiffy corn muffin mix. And we're just gonna pour two of these on two eggs. Just get all that out of there. And then we're gonna get some golden sweet corn. Golden sweet corn. Two cans of that. Make sure you drain it first. Don't make it too corny. Don't get too corny with your jokes now, Rick. <laughs> two of the cream. Whoa. These are the cream of the crop right here. <laughs> the creme de la creme. Creme de. Whoa. Got that. Now we got, let's see, four tablespoons of melted butter. We used Irish butter because, you know, St. Patrick's Day just happened and we're just feeling inspired still. And then one cup of malk, otherwise known as 2% um, malk. Malk. And then we got some sour cream. Now, this is a 16 ounce mm -hmm. thing, but I only need eight ounces. So I'm gonna do You're like gonna go by feel. Maybe like two big old whips of it. Yeah. Okay. I like that you let your heart do the measuring. <sighs> Always. And then some raw unfiltered honey. Oh. Because there's so many filters out there in the world, and we just like things to be unfiltered sometimes. All raw, all real. About a third cup of that, and this makes that corn real sweet. Perfect. Dang. Now. You grab your fancy hand mixer. Okay. And you just go to town on this puppy. You don't want to go too fast because it might splatter everywhere and the dog's going to get a free dinner. So <laughs> we don't want that. It's a really good way to work out if you don't oh, yeah. to go to the gym. It's actually a good forearm workout. Yeah. I might have to switch hands in a second because I'm getting a little tired. I probably should have mixed these like individually, you know, just so it's not a big glob of stuff, but. I think it's gonna turn out really good. Yeah, it looks really good. It's already good. getting more creamy. And it'll obviously thicken more. Oh yeah, it's getting really hard to turn this because of that uh, corn mix. Oh yeah. It's kicking in. Dang, this is tough. I might need a sub out. <laughs> a stunt double? <laughs> I need a stunt double. Oh, gotta switch arms. Man, you guys gotta try this. If you're on your forearm workout day, this is definitely gonna get you there. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? I think so. It almost looks like a dessert or something. I know. What well, kind of is with the, the honey? Now, Here you're you gonna go. grab your crock pot. All right, and we're just gonna pour <clears throat> this entire batter that into the crock good. pot. You wanna get it evenly mixed in there. Get all that cron out of there. Yeah. All right, and since we have the honey, it's gonna be a little sticky, so we're just gonna get that spoon. Gotta get the spoon. I know you guys like to get all that goodness out of there, so I'll make sure I do that for you. And this is super easy, because now that you mixed all that together, just smooth that out, put it on high for three hours, and you have an incredible corn casserole, all right? So we're gonna put that on there. See you in about three hours on high. Woo-wee! Dang! That turned out perfect. Look at that golden brown over there. Whoa. Oh my gosh, see how juicy it is? You can smell the cornbread. I feel like you could let it sit for a little bit and kind of harden, but I just want to try it like fresh. Fresh out the, the plug, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That is the best cornbread that I've ever tasted in my life. Really? 
Yeah, usually cornbread's so like dry and bland. That is insanely good. And you can taste that honey too. Mm. I let it cool down a little bit, but oh, you gotta make this, guys. This is so good.